Optimizing negative pressure wound therapy using the Floshore ventilation patch. Negative pressure wound healing is a highly effective and safe therapy that has been used by clinicians for many years with excellent results. Proper dressing protocols for negative pressure wound therapy require an airtight seal to prevent contamination. However, this can interfere with the flow, causing stagnation and pooling of exudate in the wound bed, which can lead to complications such as maceration and infection. The simple fact is, suction does not equal flow. If you have ever disabled a blockage alarm, poked a needle hole in the dressing, or lifted the edge of a dressing, you have employed a workaround to promote flow in order to prevent stagnation. These actions compromise patient safety. If you have ever performed any of these actions, replaced a canister, or completely redone a dressing, you have encountered a common problem within negative pressure wound therapy. Lack of proper flow. The Flow Shore Ventilation Patch helps to solve this problem. To use the patch, simply make an eighth to quarter inch hole in the existing dressing and apply the flow shore patch over the hole. Applied over your existing dressing, its patented technology allows controlled filtered air to flow to the wound bed while preventing bacterial penetration. This controlled source of filtered air helps to prevent pooling. It is actually a very simple concept. Think of it this way. When you get a cup of coffee to go, you see the concept in action. The small hole on the opposite side of the lid of your coffee cup allows air into the sealed cup to promote the smooth flow of coffee through the drinking hole. Similarly, when you drink from a bottle of water, you do not seal the top of the bottle. Without thinking about it, you leave an opening for air to flow into the bottle to keep the flow steady. The Flowshore Ventilation Patch is the simplest, most effective way to ensure proper flow of exudate through and out of the wound bed. Because of its simple application and seamless integration with the current negative pressure wound therapy protocol, you now have proper flow in the wound bed. In an effort to address this problem, some dressing protocols have been developed using a single lumen with a T valve to introduce air. However, this shortcuts the wound bed and can only clear exudate and enhance flow within the lumen itself. With a double lumen, airflow is improved within the lumen just to flush the tube again. It shortcuts the wound bed. There are some systems that introduce a continuous saline fluid irrigation to the wound bed. This can be expensive, cumbersome, and in some cases require special care to ensure there is no risk of infection. No more disabling alarms, poking holes in dressings, lifting up corners, or fighting maceration and infection due to inadequate flow. Unlike these solutions, the Flowshore patch works simply and effectively to promote flow and enhance healing. No fuss, no mess, no complications. And you don't have to change the dressing protocol, just add the patch. You will have peace of mind knowing that you have optimized the negative pressure wound therapy dressing protocol for even better results. Learn more about the science of the patch and its cost effectiveness by watching a separate video on these subjects.